What's happening, guys? Keith here with your July 1st edition of the Impact Report. So if you haven't checked out my review of this past week's episode of Impact already, you can do so by clicking the link at the top of the screen. And speaking of this past week's episode of Impact, it drew 254,000 viewers and ranked 125 on Cable's Top 150. Unfortunately, this was Impact's lowest viewed show of 2018. So on Wednesday, during my Impact Report quick hit, I talked about Anthem bringing in a new COO, Peter Einstein. Um, The reason I bring this up is that he has worked in the media industry for 35 years, working for MTV for 16 of those years, and he actually created an advisory investment and consulting firm, which specialized in media, technology, entertainment, and communications, which he still serves as a chairman there. Um, But hopefully with bringing him in, they can do something with this TV deal or maybe possibly get a new TV deal. Um, But I think that's really where Impact is lacking. I mean, outside of social media, there's not much being done for Impact. And hopefully with his connections, something can be done there. Um, So I'm going to bring something new to the Impact Report each week. And when I talk about the Impact viewership, I'm going to take a look at the top three viewed segments on Impact Wrestling's YouTube page um, since they upload segments from the week's this week's impact um so the top three segments were uh number three was sue young and her undead brides maids attack madison rain and that one did 103,000 views uh number two was rich swan makes his impact debut that did 188,000 views and number one pentagon jr unmasked by sammy callahan which drew 191,000 views i mean right now i'm just starting off with this i'm just gonna kind of see how the weeks progress and if it seems like there's a trend of things that get viewed over other things you know maybe that's something impact should look into doing is focusing on stuff that gets more views on the youtube page just for the simple fact that i've read a lot of people when like to keep up with impact but a don't have pop tv or don't have the time to sit through another two hours of wrestling so they just go onto the youtube page and keep up with it that way Um, But it is interesting to note that the segments of Pentagon Jr. challenging Sammy Callahan and Sammy accepting only has 30,000 views combined when the unmasking of Pentagon Jr. did 191,000 views. I hope Impact capitalizes on this and kind of shows the importance of Pentagon Jr.'s mask because I think some fans may not know the story behind it, so I think Impact should definitely go that route. Uh, So there was an interesting article uh, on Wrestling Inc. that was posted talking about Matt Seidel and how his role has changed in Impact Wrestling recently. Uh, For the majority of his 20-year career, Seidel has used his aerial arsenal to impress fans, playing the role of babyface. Interestingly, the man behind this character change is Jimmy Jacobs, who has spent much time sharing creative input backstage at Impact, which while also managing super heavyweight Congo Kong, which this kind of makes sense why they're all on TV um, right now. But from the article, it says, Matt Seidel has been one thing his whole career. It's been great being a sort of baby face that can have great matches, who doesn't talk much, being a good wrestler, and doing high-flying stuff. That's been him his whole career. And a few months back, we took a chance on him when we said, hey, I think we have something more here, said Jacobs. We capitalize on what's what he's in real life with him being kind of spiritual and holistic and those sort of things. We thought, why not adding that that in his character and try something else? There were people even internally who thought this was a bad idea. People want to cheer Matt because he does impressive moves and they're going to be confused by this new character of his. But over the past month, seeing Matt develop and seeing him during the last taping session in early June, the promo he cut that's going to air in a few weeks, and the backstage promos on Brian Cage, it was the best thing I shot from all we got, from anybody. Matt has never been a good talker, he's never been great with promos, and this guy cuts the best promo I saw that week. To see that transformation, to see that happen, to see somebody who didn't even know they had it in themselves, and to see that come out because you believe in them. Because the group of people here saw something in him, and to see that come to fruition, that's awesome. That's great. I love it. So that's that's pretty interesting right there. It is definitely interesting that Seidel has basically been a face his whole career beside a short stint in the beginning in Ring of Honor when he was a heel. And uh, 
I'm interested to see, interested to see how that plays out on TV. So this week's Impact Wrestling teleconference, uh, Rich Swan was the guest. Um, you know, they kind of said to keep all things relating to his prior incidences off it, keep it all positive, which is good because they want to move forward from that, and I completely understand that. So Rich talks about falling into a depression due to people's reaction that he was being booked for shows after what had happened leading to his departure of WWE. He says he almost stepped away from the wrestling business because of it. However, during WrestleCon, he went and checked out the Lucha vs. Impact show and decided he had to get back to it. Impact has given him a second chance, and he is not going to let that feed. He says that he would like to have a match against Pentagon Jr., Ray Phoenix, which we will see next week on Impact, and Sammy Callahan. Uh, he talks about Callahan being, uh, taking him under his wing early on in his career, and he wants to wrestle him the most. Uh, he says he was always a fan of the X Division. He put over Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, Alex Shelley, Sanjay Dutt, and of course AJ Styles. Uh, he talks about the great atmosphere at Impact right now. He says it's like family and has come up with so many of the guys on the roster. Uh, he was assured that Impact is a place about entertaining people where he can look forward to growing. Uh, he talks about his new hairstyle as an homage to Minoru Suzuki. Uh, he says he would love to tag with Desmond Xavier and thinks he is one of the best wrestlers on the scene today. Uh, he says Su Young is doing ver some very innovative and creative work in Impact Wrestling. He talks about, you know, future segments with her coming out and even just the entrance would get a This Is Awesome chant. Um, he has been offered a contract with Impact Wrestling. He does want to do business with them, but, you know, we'll see how things progress. Um, he says he wants to do either a death match or an extreme match because he's never gotten to show his creative side in that way. And he finishes the call by hyping his match with Trevor Lee that took place on last week's episode of Impact. So last, um, next Saturday, July 7th, we have The Rise of the Knockouts, which will air live on Twitch at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, they look like they have the final card drawn up, and I'm going to give that a rundown. So our either the main event is going to be this or the Knockouts title match, but we have a 30-minute Iron Woman match for the Phoenix of Rise Championship with Delilah Doom defending against Shotzi Blackheart. Um, Sue Young defends the Knockout Championship against Soraya Knight in a Falls Count Anywhere match. We have a four corners elimination match to crown the first ever Guardians of Rise Tag Team Champions with Paradise Lost versus Team Blue Nation, Wiley Smiley's versus Fire and Nice, um, Tessa Blanchard versus Chris Wolf, Allie versus Mercedes Martinez, Madison Rain versus Kikio, uh, Kimberly versus Shazza McKenzie. Um, this was originally supposed to be a triple threat with Madison Eagles, but she was unable to travel to the U.S. due to illness, so now it's just a singles match. And we have a tag match between Bones of Contention versus Twisted Sisters. So it looks to be a good show. Um, few people that I'm not familiar with, so I always like to see new talent, um, maybe future knockouts, but... I apologize if uh, my voice sounds a little nasally, still battling a cold, can't shake this summer thing, but that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you next time for my impact review, and until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.